Welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna start this video off with me taking my hair out in a bun Which it, it has been in a bun for quite some time now and I'm definitely in need of a wash So I'm gonna go ahead and massage my scalp That's what I always do because it feels really good and then I go ahead and jump into the shower Okay, so now that we're in the shower We're gonna go ahead and use the coconut curls shampoo by OGX, which I absolutely love and I'm just gonna put a little bit because the first time around when I do put shampoo, it doesn't really make too much suds. I guess because my hair is not really like wet and moist like it's supposed to be. But the second time around when I do put shampoo, uh, it definitely does make a lot of suds. Which So that's why I always shampoo my hair twice, just to make sure that I get the my scalp really good and take out all the gunk and dirt and everything gross out of my scalp. I don't shampoo the rest of my hair I just focus on my scalp so the suds that I do have left I just drag it down to the rest of my hair and then I go in with my scalp massager by Vanity Planet which helps to stimulate my scalp so that it can promote healthy hair growth So I went ahead and rinsed out the shampoo and we're going to go in with the OG at Coconut Curls Conditioner. And I put this all over my hair and I try to focus into the roots like inside of my hair because that's where it's the most nappiest. <laughs> I went ahead and combed my hair thoroughly off camera. Um, because it's such a long process to detangle my hair. That's definitely another video. But I went ahead and made it really easy and I just went ahead and combed my hair. So this is the after. I thought I combed out all the kinks but I still have a little bit. So I go ahead and brush my hair all back because I don't know. I just like to comb my hair that way. So I go ahead and rinse off the conditioner, but I leave some of the conditioner inside my hair. So once I get off the shower, I like to use my t-shirt and I like to take out some of the wetness out of my hair. So I'm trying out the Diva Curl Be Leave-In and I usually use my Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, but I want to try this out. And this is actually pretty silky on my hair. I like the consistency of it. And I just put it all over my hair. Focusing pretty much at the ends because that's where it's the most driest. And we're going in with my Diva Curl Super Cream. And we're just putting that all over my hair. And then I go ahead and put more and I just distribute it everywhere throughout my hair, especially on the insides because that's where it's also dry and I don't like when it gets all matte and tangled. And then we're going in with my Kinky Curly Leave-In Detangler Cream and I really love this. I just put it all on my ends, the inside, pretty much everywhere, all over my hair. Now I have quite a lot of hair so I like to section off my hair into different parts when it comes to distributing the Kinky Curly throughout my hair. Now while I'm putting product, I like to grab the Denman brush to define my curls and it actually works hand in hand. So what I do is I put product and then I run the Denman brush through and it actually makes my curls come together. 
Now, I found this out by doing my daughter's hair, and I saw how her curls would come together. So I was like, hey, let me try and do it on my hair, and it actually does work. I also do a little extra scrunch so it can, like, I don't know, hold my curls too. So after that whole process, I like to just add a little bit more of the Kiki Curly all over my curls. And then I go in with my mango and lime to making castor oil, which I love. I just use this to seal in everything and I just put it all over my hair. So then I go ahead and flip my hair over and I like to scrunch my hair and loosen everything just to, you know, make sure everything's not compact on my head and just dry flat. So I just like to loosen everything, make it all puffy and stuff. The last thing I'm using is my Diva Curl Aesthetic Free Spray and it's supposed to be a finishing spray. And so far I like it, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that in there. So that's pretty much everything I put in my hair, and I just usually let it air dry, which will take probably about 6 to 8 hours. It's been about 8 hours, and my hair is still kind of wet inside, and it's not dry all the way. So that's why over here is kind of flat, but it's pretty much how my hair turned out. on this wash and go routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that's pretty much it on this wash and go routine. I hope you Bye bye. Okay, man, that's it. So that's wash and go routine.